Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am starting this video by going up in my attic and pulling down some empty decor totes because I am going to be taking down all of my fall decor today, cleaning and tidying up around my house, and I guess you could say that I am undecorating for fall. I know it is so strange that today when I am uploading this video is actually the official first day of fall for 2021, and on the first day of fall, I am taking down my fall decor. How strange is that? I think it's weird, so it's totally okay if you think it's weird too, but I have actually had all of my my fall decor up since the end of August and I've shared all of my fall decorating videos with you guys and enjoyed these displays and now we are ready for Halloween. My family absolutely loves Halloween decor, spooky season, spooky decor. It is totally our thing. It is so fun for us. And actually prior to being on YouTube, I never decorated for fall. I always went straight to Halloween in like mid-September and kept that up until October 31st. And then on November 1st, I would take down all of our Halloween decor and go straight to Christmas because we love Christmas just as much as we love Halloween. But since being on YouTube, there is this, I guess, pressure or expectation that as a homemaking YouTuber, I will decorate for every single season and every single holiday, which is totally fine. It's a lot of fun. So anyway, I feel like we have waited long enough. We are so excited as we are approaching October that we want to have all of our Halloween decor out by October 1st. And so before I can even think about bringing out all of my many, many totes of Halloween decor, I need to first pack up all of this fall decor. So I'm going to start in my kitchen and pack up all of my Ray Dunn seasonal items. I am going to leave out all of the more year-round items or non-seasonal. In the Ray Dunn world, we call them basics. I am going to leave those up for now just so that everything isn't completely bare in the few days between switching from fall to Halloween. But I'm packing away all of my fall seasonal Ray Dunn into a couple of totes that will go out in my shed. And then I'm going Going to clean up around the rest of my kitchen. When I opened my dishwasher, I was surprised to see that it was full of clean dishes that needed to be put away. I just had it in my mind that there were going to be only a few dirty dishes in there, so I wasn't really paying attention, and as soon as I opened it, I went to put a dirty cup in, and then I realized that the dishes were clean and they really needed to be put away. But because I had already tried to put that dirty cup in, I just could not allow myself to then put all of those dishes into the cupboard to be used. So I ended up loading more dishes into this already full, already clean dishwasher because I didn't know what else to do. So I had to play a little bit of dishwasher Tetris, I guess you could say, to fit as much in there as possible, which is nothing new because I am super cheap and I do not like to waste my dishwasher tabs. So I am not one of those people who runs my dishwasher every single day. I wait until that sucker is jam packed and then I pack it some more and that's when I finally run it on a wash cycle. It was a little bit of a challenge because it had already been completely packed full but I just rearranged a few things, got as much in there as I could, and then moved on to hand washing everything that was left over. Even though I am packing up all of my fall decor and replacing it with Halloween, I am still burning all of my favorite fall scented candles and using all of my favorite fall scented cleaning products. This season especially, I have been loving the Mrs. Meyers Acorn Spice. It smells so good good. It's not overpowering. It lingers for just long enough and I tend to have very sensitive skin and I find that it does not irritate my skin. It doesn't break me out or make me itch and I really appreciate that. Now I do have a really hard time finding it local to me. I know that the seasonal and holiday scents from the Mrs. Myers brand are really popular, very in demand, and they can be hard to find but I always have a ton of luck with finding them in stock on the 
Grove Collaborative website, and so that's where I like to order mine. I do have a link down in my description box for Grove Collaborative if you wanted to check out the Mrs. Myers seasonal scents on their website. You can use that link, and when you make your first $20 purchase, you will get a free Mrs. Myers gift set with your first purchase. So definitely make sure you check out my description box. Use that link if you are planning on placing a Grove order. The other day, I accidentally put one of my kids' plates on a hot stove burner. I had turned off the burner, but it was still hot. I wasn't thinking, and I just put the plastic plate on top of it, and it started melting the plastic, and it melted onto the stove. Now, scrubbing it with my microfiber cloth and my fingernail did get most of it up, but I do think I'm going to have to take a razor blade to the stove top to get the rest of it, and I literally dread doing that. I might make my husband do it. It because I cannot stand the feeling or the sound that it makes. It makes me feel like fingernails on a chalkboard or like fingernails on velvet fabric. Oh, I just cannot stand it. The very next video that I share on my channel will be that Halloween decorate with me, so definitely make sure that you are subscribed if you aren't already and that you have your notification bell set to notify you of all new posts so that you don't miss whenever I upload that video. I am so excited to share it with you guys and I can't wait to hear what you think of my Halloween 2021 decor, but usually when I do a decorating video, I do all of this in it as well. I typically undecorate, clean, and redecorate all at once. And if I'm being honest, that can become very overwhelming and it takes an incredible amount of dedicated time to not only do all of that in one day, but especially to film it all in one day. It just... It honestly is just very overwhelming and so I decided to try something different and spread it out. So that's why you're seeing me undecorate and clean today and then you will see me doing all of my decorating next time. And it made me kind of curious, how do you guys typically go about putting out your seasonal decor or holiday decor? Do you do it all in one day where you take down all of the old stuff, clean everything, and then put up all of the new? Do you spread it out over a couple of of days or over a couple of weeks. I know that everybody is so different when it comes to homemaking and decorating and there really is no one right way to do it. But I'm just curious to know how many of you are like me where you try to get it all done all at one time and you need that kind of instant gratification or how many of you like to take it slow and really enjoy the process of homemaking. Whenever you can see my kitchen mat on camera in my videos, I always get a ton of questions about it. So if you are interested in checking out my kitchen mat or any of the other products that you might see in any of my videos, make sure that you look in the description box because that's where I like to leave links for all of those products. I did not expect this, but when I started taking down all of the decor in my living room, I was kind of feeling a little bit sad. I guess I underestimated exactly how much I loved the setup that I was able to come up with for the fall season. I know I talk about this in almost every single one of my decorating related videos, but throughout the rest of my house, in our family room, our kitchen, especially with our Ray Dunn displays, and in both of my girls' rooms, I really try to cater to the rest of my family and what their preferences are. So they all love to be overwhelmed by our seasonal decor and really immersed in a season or holiday through our decor. They call it cozy, but I would call it clutter. They just like a lot 
of stuff and I am the exact opposite. I feel the most comfortable and the most at peace when the decor is more simple and minimal and intentional and so that's the way that I like to decorate our living room is with that simple minimal approach and so I usually really love the displays that I'm able to come up with in here. They are always my favorite because they are the ones that cater to my personal taste and sense of style. So it was a little bit sad putting away all of my cutesy little fall decor that was in this area and I really did think that all of it was going to fit into just one tote because I do decorate so minimally in here but in my defense I did not have a completely empty tote. I had one that was about a third of the way full so it filled up the rest of it and I am going to have to go out and get another one to store away all of my decorations for the fall season but overall I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm going to end up with only three totes of decor total for the fall season and most of the other seasons and holidays I end up with five or seven or sometimes like 15 so that was a win having only three. If you are curious about where I am taking these items when I go off camera, the pillows are going to a storage closet in Sawyer's room, the duvet went to Kinsley's room, and the duvet cover and the sheets went to the laundry to be washed. And speaking of laundry, I had two loads of towels that needed to be folded. Surprise, surprise, there's always laundry that is waiting to be folded and put away in my house. But I do have to say, this is why towels are my favorite. I had two full loads here and the footage of me folding this was only eight minutes long. It took me eight minutes to fold two loads of towels. If those had been like Sawyer's tiny toddler clothes or even mine and my husband's clothes, it would have taken me probably twice that amount of time. So I was happy that I was able to get it all done in such a short period of time. But it did make me think about how I work these things up in my head and that leads to me procrastinating because I think it's going to take 30 or 45 minutes or an hour and how could I possibly have an hour to dedicate to folding laundry and so I put it off and put it off until before you know it I have two three four five ten loads of laundry sometimes that need to be folded and put away all at once and then that's why it's taking me an hour to do it is because I've just waited so long and now it's all piled up into a mountain but I was happy to only have two loads today and to be able to get them all folded and put away in eight minutes. Recently, I've been thinking that I don't really like this table here anymore. Not necessarily that I don't like the placement of it, but I think I just don't like the actual table itself. It was originally an outdoor side table and I spray painted it white and then put it here next to my front door and next to the sofa to hold our mail slot, which is very useful and a couple of decor pieces. And I think that I would like to replace it with something that can still hold the mail slot and decor pieces, but I'm just not sure what style or color would look best. I don't know, usually I have a very clear picture of what I want and where I can find it and I just go out and find it or make it myself, but I am stumped with this one and I honestly have just no idea of what would look best in that area. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, definitely leave them in the comment section for me. I would really appreciate it because like I said, I am completely completely stumped and I have no idea what I should be putting in that space. So here's that duvet that I took out of the living room and brought into Kinsley's room. Kinsley is my oldest daughter and this is actually her duvet so it does belong in here. I recently did a room makeover for her and we decided to change out her bedding and keep it light until it actually gets cold outside and she needs heavier bedding. This is just because she has always been warm blooded to begin with but especially when she is sleeping she gets hot so fast she constantly 
constantly kicks off her covers and she's always sweating. So we just decided to wait until the season really changes and the weather changes and then we will probably bring her duvet and duvet cover out again. But since I did that room makeover for her, she has been doing a really good job of keeping her room tidied for the most part. She's not quite there with making her bed every single day, but if I'm being honest, neither am I. So I can't expect that from her if I don't even do that myself. But she is keeping her toys contained. She's keeping all of her items on her desk, on her desk, and not spreading them out around her room. It's not getting crazy out of control like it used to. And I think that probably has to do with us minimizing the things that were in here. We took out a ton of furniture when we did that makeover and we just minimized not only the furniture that was in the room, but the amount of stuff that was in the room. Kinsley has the smallest room in the house to begin with and everything that we were trying to cram in there, it was just so overwhelming and nearly impossible for her to keep her room actually clean. So she has been enjoying it a lot more having less things to take care of and I have been enjoying it as well and I find myself wanting to come into her room and wanting to tidy it up for her or with her just so that I can see it all put together because I do think that it turned out beautifully. I am so sorry if you can tell a big difference in the lighting change throughout this video, but especially in Kinsley and Sawyer's bedrooms. I started filming this video around 1.30 in the afternoon and I stopped filming when I was done in Sawyer's bedroom, which was about 5.30, 5.45 at night. Now typically in like the peak of summer, that would have been no problem. It would have been bright daylight and honestly the perfect lighting, but this is how I can really tell that the season is actually changing and fall is upon us. The days are now getting shorter and shorter. We are losing daylight and it has started getting darker earlier and earlier into the evening, which is definitely a big adjustment when it comes to filming because I so enjoy those spring and summer months where we have so much daylight and a lot of flexibility with my filming schedule, but this just means that I am going to have to start filming pretty much from the time that I wake up until the early afternoon because those are going to be the best daylight hours. So I'm so sorry if you have noticed that lighting difference here. It's the downfall of the changing season for sure. But the upside is that the weather has started to change as well, especially in the early mornings and the late evenings. It has started to really cool off and before you know it, sweater weather will be here and who doesn't love hoodie season? Cleaning up Sawyer's princess toys had me missing Disney so much, but if I'm being honest, I've really been missing it for months now. I just love being at the Disney parks, and that's a huge reason why we've been considering moving to Florida is because it is such a romantic idea to think about starting every morning on Main Street USA or visiting Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom on any given afternoon just because we feel like stopping by which is so crazy because it's not like my family was a Disney family when I was growing up. My mom did collect all of the Disney and Pixar films. She had every single one on VHS, DVD, and eventually Blu-ray. And my brothers and I loved watching those Disney movies and we really grew up in that culture at home, but we never actually visited the Disney parks. My mom always said that she was going to take us when my youngest brother turned 10 
and could remember it, but that never actually happened. And so the first time that I ever went to the Disney parks, I was actually 26 years old. But even as an adult, it was the most magical experience. And I knew from the very beginning that I did not want it to be a once in a lifetime experience. We actually have a trip planned for the 50th anniversary and I cannot wait. But anyway, now that I have rambled through cleaning up all of Sawyer's room and getting all of the decor out of there, that is the end of today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you in the next one.